Hi, my name is Matthew Hamilton and I'm a first year student studying business management with marketing at Leeds Beckett University. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you all about my buyer behaviour. So in this vlog, I'm going to be talking about a recent purchase that I've made and analyse why it is I think I chose to make that specific purchase. And I'm going to try and relate this to certain theories. So at uh, some point around May or June, festival season was approaching and um, I realised that I needed to buy myself what's called a sling bag. Um, I looked around at different places that sold these, but in the end I settled on uh, this one from Urban Outfitters. Uh, the reason that I needed one of these was because when you're at a festival, it's really hard to carry all your belongings around in your pockets and it's also just not safe. So uh, having a sling bag would just be really convenient to pop my phone, my wallet, um, just my portable charger, everything that you'd need at a festival, you can just carry around easily in one of these sling bags. So it was then down to me as the consumer to conduct what's called a proposition evaluation. Um, what this basically means is, first of all, do I actually need this product? And uh, secondly, can I find a better alternative elsewhere? Um, this was actually a pretty last minute purchase for me and I was in town with one of my friends at the time. So we did go around a few other stores. I remember we went into Topman, which is one of Urban Outfitters competitors. And um, the, they didn't really have a very big selection. I can remember that the only two they had were white and I specifically wanted a black one because it would go with the outfit I was going to wear. I then remembered that I'd seen on Urban Outfitters Instagram story that they had a wide range of these bags. Uh, so me and my friend headed in store to have a look and there was much more variety there than in the previous stores we'd looked in. As I mentioned before, I wanted one that was all black so it would go with my outfit. So I saw this one and um, I asked my friend's opinion. He said he really liked it. So that was enough and I went ahead and purchased the product. And this whole process from me even identifying that I needed a sling bag for the festival all the way through to me actually purchasing it is called the customer proposition acquisition. And this is something that pretty much every single consumer will go through when deciding whether or not to purchase a product. Another theory that might have influenced my purchase is consumer theory. Uh, consumer theory is basically the study of how people decide to spend their money depending on their preferences or their budget constraints. Urban Outfitters is definitely a brand that targets its products towards people who have a bit of a wider budget. Um, this might deter a lot of people from shopping there because they think they can get better value for money elsewhere, whereas the products they offer are within my price range and it's just a brand that, due to their branding, imaging and me following them on social media, I've really come to fall in love with. So speaking of branding and image, Urban Outfitters have definitely used this technique in order to target me. Um, they have associated their brand with a particular type of person and lifestyle and I think that I fit within this demographic, therefore I shop there a lot. Um, one way Urban Outfitters might have done this is through market segmentation. Uh, what market segmentation basically is, is splitting your potential target market up into four subcategories. So these four are geographic, um, that's where your target market is located. Uh, demographic, this is the things such as the age or gender of the target market. Um, behavioural, this is how your target market behave, usually in regards to their spending habits. And psychographic, and this is about the personality or lifestyle of your target market. Urban Outfitters will take all of these categories into account and they will have used all of them to somehow target their products towards me. And finally, I think another thing that Urban Outfitters do to target people such as myself is sales promotion. Um, not only have they always got offers on in-store, but they also offer student discount. And this definitely influenced my decision when buying this sling bag, as I knew I could get some money off being a student myself. And not only this, but when, when I did purchase the product, um, they ask you if you want the receipt emailed to you. If you do agree with this, then you'll then be subject to a lot of active promotion that Urban Outfitters do. Um, they'll constantly be emailing you, letting you know about the latest offers and new products that they've got in store. So uh, thanks for watching and listening to my vlog. I hope it's given you an insight on me as a consumer and why I chose to purchase this item from Urban Outfitters. Um, yeah, thanks.